channel if you're new my name's Nicole if you're old welcome back and today I'm gonna do an eye look because I got these awesome palettes in from Pinky Rose Cosmetics you don't know they created the bright lights palette the uh, sunset palette center stage palette um, the, and a bunch of pressed glitter palettes which are freaking amazingly awesome uh, these retail for $24.99 on their site, $25 on Riley Rose. I bought them on Riley Rose because they literally, uh, well, they sold out of the bundle, but they still had two of the individuals available on Pinky Rose Cosmetics, but Pinky Rose does not ever offer free shipping. Uh, but Riley Rose had free shipping at $40 and above. Um, so, yeah, I took the hit with not getting the discount, but the just I mean, it was sold out, and I didn't know that they were literally going to restock about three or four days after I ordered, and this took 10 days to get to me. <laughs> That's another one. Riley Rose, seven to 10 days. They mean 10 days, like, really. I mean, granted, that was with weekend, but still, 10 days. But I was really excited. <laughs> I saw these. I wanted them. <laughs> Immediately, it was just around Christmas. I couldn't get them because <laughs> I had other things to spend my money on so you know November and December I was almost on no buy of makeup I don't think I really bought anything so or hardly so this is the 80s baby palette and um, if you don't know Pinky Rose is founded by three Latina sisters and so each of them are attributed to like created the, the each of these palettes now they are look exactly like the bright lights and the center stage palettes which I do have but however, they do not have a press glitter, which their press glitter formula is awesome. You just dip into it, apply it to your eye with like a finger, maybe even with a brush, or definitely a finger, and it stays all day. You don't even need glitter glue with it. And they have like ginormous palettes, which is press glitter. But um, each of those, like center stage, had two and two or three, and so did uh, the center stage palette. So this is what 80s babies looks like. Just have this mirror, and I do love the names. I love the shades. I think they're so on because yellow, purple, blue were those colors. Look back at my Evolution of Beauty 1980. So I'm so excited. And also they are like a, they don't claim to be vegan, but I think they are. They don't have, use carmine in any. Yeah, but they don't have any carmine in any of their palettes, which is awesome. Okay, this is the Exotic Peacock. I'm like, I love how there's like peacock feathers hiding in the bouquet. Um, oh, and this palette, the 80s baby, was Delilah's palette, and this one is Michelle's palette. And this thing is so awesome. Three sisters banding together to make a company, it looks like. And you look at those colors. Look how gorgeous that is. Um, it's not blind. Look at those. All those jewel mm, blues and greens. Gorgeous. Okay. Is that one and then the last one is called obsessed and this is Gina's palette and this one looks like this this actually reminds me a lot of bright lights mixed with some center stage actually <laughs> that's what I'm getting in some of these colors but very gorgeous very very pretty um, and even some unique shades like she's got like a shimmery citrine color in the stay golden that that looks like a citrine right there um, and it's just slightly snow, it might be more matte. It's like a satin shade. So I'm excited to play it. I'm like, what color do I want for my eyebrows? I'm actually thinking of going into this one and <laughs> doing something. This is the 80s baby. Yeah. Put some eyeshadow primer on. Wonder about my face? I'm doing an e.l.f. review, if not the foundation, but, or the blush, but the highlight, the poreless primer, the concealer. That's what this uh, look is about. Which is you know, I'm thinking. Because um, Sabe is to know. So I think it's you know. It's been a minute. 
And I'm the Mexican who doesn't speak Spanish. I'm gonna take this, uh, is it like a golden mustardy yellow golden rod? Actually goes a little lighter on the lid, okay. I'm gonna go into a more, which is this pretty red down here. She's got like the tip of that. Applies and blends either way really good. So, whatever way you want to do it. I feel like I should probably cut the crease. to 1981, which is the gold color. And caliente, which is like a burnt one. now for Ofra in Miami Fever, which I think will go good with this one. So I'm going to go with some Claudio liquid liner and see how that turns out.
anyway, I hope you enjoyed the look using the 80s baby pinky rose palette. I do like my little sunset fiery eyes. We're gonna ignore my mascara. Or not my mascara, we're gonna ignore my eyeliner, <laughs> which went way wide on one side. Um, but anyway, I do like the look. I think it's really pretty. I like the look. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Toodles.